So, in less than a year, I'll finally have an engineering degree, technically making me a full-blown engineer, which means I'll be just as skilled and capable as every other engineer on the planet. But growing up as a Boy Scout, I learned two very important things. First, no one buys popcorn. And second, always be prepared. That was actually our motto. And so I'd be remiss if I went into my profession ill-equipped, which is why in today's video, I'm going to literally just Google, what should every engineer know? And in classic engineer fashion, I'm going to click the first search result and treat it as the absolute infallible truth. So let's get started and make sure you subscribe. It doesn't really do anything for you, but it helps me out a lot. So thanks if you do that. Okay, what should every engineer know? First link. And we're off. Okay, number one, never lose the thirst for knowledge. One of the best things we as humans can do is keep learning continuously to improve who we are. This is especially true for engineers. Um, what's up? Why, <laughs> why is it especially true for engineers? Huh? Do we, <laughs> do we suck that bad? <laughs> They're like, you know, all humans should always be trying to improve, but you know, engineers looking at you, you could, you could really use some work. Yeah, you should really get on that. Most people start here, try to work up to here. Yeah, engineers, you guys are... Actually, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know where you guys are. <laughs> never shy away from an opportunity to learn something new because you never know how useful it can be to you. Yeah, you know, they're basically saying you should be open to experimenting. Just because you don't think you're gonna be into something doesn't mean you shouldn't give it a try. Who knows, it might be your next favorite thing. Like, I don't know, put something in your mouth that you usually don't. Like, you know, a new type of ice cream. Maybe you weren't a big cookie dough person. Give cookie dough a try. What'd you think I was talking about? It says a lot about you. Also, I love the picture they went with for this one. Just, you know, a classic engineer waiting for the sun to completely engulf him and everything he loves. Yeah, very appropriate for engineering. Number two, prioritize. As much as our elders told us that we can do anything once we finish engineering, you may find yourself short of time and frustrated because you can't do what you wanted to. Whoa, huh? What? <laughs> What? Wait, what did I just read? So as much as the elders told us we can do anything once we finish engineering, which, what does that even mean? Finishing engineering? I'm pretty sure engineering finishes you off. Oh, so then I guess it'd be common courtesy to finish engineering off. Again, this says more about you. So once you finish engineering, again, whatever that means, you may find yourself short of time and frustrated because you can't do what you wanted to. <laughs> Are they talking about getting to the end of your life and realizing that you have so many regrets? <laughs> what? <laughs> and apparently this is a widespread enough issue in engineers that they have to point it out. Oh my God, this is like really dark. They're like, hey, you know, when you finish engineering, you're gonna look back on it and be like, oh, I wish I had fun. I wish I did all these other things, but my focus was engineering and all my elders in my life are telling me that I'm gonna have regrets on my deathbed. What? <laughs> What is this saying? Don't worry about it. Instead, plan your time and prioritize task according to it. I notice you're spiraling out of control. Have you thought about writing in a planner? Afraid you won't live life to the fullest? Have you tried not worrying about it? <laughs> this, what is, I don't get this one. I really don't get this one. Like, I understand why engineers need to prioritize it. It's very important in the workplace. Like, knowing which task to put ahead of others to get, you know, things done, deliverables accomplished. But the message after the prioritize they kind of went a different way. I think prioritize, totally, right? Every engineer should know how to prioritize, but call me old fashioned. I don't think every engineer needs to have an existential crisis. I, <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe I'm wacky for saying that. I don't, I don't think if they need to, you know? <laughs> also, how dare they use this picture? I know I'm studying engineering and maybe I don't have a background in design, but how dare they put such an off-centered sign in front of me. See, that is someone that found themselves short of time and they didn't prioritize their spacing. <laughs> Number three, do not be arrogant. Pride comes before the fall. That's true, yes, June is in summer. <laughs> Similarly, your arrogance can lead you into difficult situations. Being stubborn and arrogant can work wonders if you know when to be arrogant and stubborn, but in most cases, it is better to be empathetic and listen to the other person before making a call. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Kind of mixed signals with this one. You know, they wrap up with a nice message, you know, don't be arrogant or stubborn, but they first, <laughs> they first tell you, oh, you know, if you are arrogant and stubborn, it actually is super effective sometimes. I, that's, um, <laughs> that's like someone saying, you know, cigarettes can be great, you know, rip a cig after a work day, take the edge off. But 
It'll also, you know, maybe lead to cancer in most cases and destroy your lungs and uh, shorten your lifespan. So, pros and cons, I suppose. Also, interesting picture again that they used. It's just a guy looking out in the distance. Does someone have like a personal vendetta against this guy? Is this like a really arrogant guy right here? They're like, oh yeah, put a picture of Charles. He's just one arrogant son of a bitch. <laughs> Looks pretty peaceful and zen to me. Not very arrogant or stubborn. Actually, maybe someone was trying to get pictures of the trees and he just like wouldn't move. <laughs> maybe he's stubborn, I don't know. Who knows what's going on in Charles' mind? <laughs> Number four, don't be afraid to take risk. Life is lived in the moments you take risk in. So don't be afraid to do what you want, professionally and personally as well. Don't be afraid to do what you want, you know, in your professional life. If everyone's got their cameras on and they're all wearing polo shirts, why not whip out the birthday suit, huh? Be different. Strive to be fearless and bold. <laughs> Life is truly lived when you're shirtless on Zoom with all your coworkers and they can see that birthmark on your shoulder. <laughs> Again, this point is right, but it's weird the direction they went with it. Like, it's true. Don't be afraid to take risks. That's like one of the staples I found in engineering. You know, be fearless, take risks. That's where innovation comes from. But to just explicitly say, don't be afraid to do what you want professionally, <laughs> that's, that's a bold claim. I don't know. Maybe I'm off track, maybe I'm old fashioned here, but that seems a little misguided. I don't know, call my husband Mr. Guided, you know, because I might be a little misguided here. I don't know. It just seems a little bold, you know? Like imagine you're at work and you decide to take some hardware home because you wanna do some independent testing and security is like, hey, you, you can't do that. And then you clap back and say, well, you know, according to, <laughs> oh my God, stewmags.com, I can do what I want professionally and personally. And then the security guard says, you literally can't. It's literally not allowed. So yes, I think you don't know, take risk to invite innovation to the world of tech, but I don't know if you should just run around doing what you want. <laughs> and I actually have to give them credit. This is a very appropriate picture for this point. So great job, Stu Mags. <laughs> and last but not least, number five, learn Excel. This isn't a joke. Yeah, wipe that goddamn grin off your face, Smiley. If I hear so much as a chuckle, you're out of here, boss, okay? It's not a joke. Excel is an extremely powerful tool and you never know when you may need it. Learn it, internalize it, use it from time to time, whether it is to keep a check on your expenses or simply to use it for your office work. I think that's a very tame piece of advice. I think it's a very appropriate piece of advice. It's true. Excel is very useful in the world of engineering and a very appropriate picture for this one. So I don't know about you, but now I feel really confident going into the profession of engineering. And just as a recap, remember the five things every engineer should know are be thirsty, YOLO, get out of the way of the picture, Charles, get naked on those group calls, and most importantly, learn Excel. Because after all, as an engineer, that's probably the most box we're ever gonna get.